everyone. So this is Made Like Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo yung isang topic sa physics na madalas na ginagamit or madalas yung may encounter. So ito yung about kinematic equations. So kailangan natin tandaan na kapag kinematic equations, dito ina-assume natin na yung acceleration natin is constant. So ibig sabihin, hindi nagbabago yung value ng ating acceleration. Okay, so ginagamit to kapag uh, meron kayong problems about uh, uniformly accelerated motion or tawag din natin doon ay UAM. Okay, so uniformly accelerated motion. So ibig sabihin, constant ang ating acceleration. So eto meron tayong apat na kinematic equations. So yung una, okay, so meron tayong VF is equal to VI plus AT. So remember natin yung VI at saka VF, it represents your velocity. Ito yung initial velocity and then yung final velocity. Then yung acceleration is A and then yung V is the time. So sa second equation natin, meron tayong D is equal to VIT plus 1 half AT squared. Sa pangatlo, we have VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2AD. And yung pangapat natin is D is equal to VI plus VF over 2 times D. So ang tanong is, um, paano natin malalaman kung ano yung tamang equation ang gagamitin natin sa problem? So madali lang yun. Kailangan lang muna, intindihin muna natin yung problem and then isulat natin yung mga given. So bigyan ko kayo ng example. So yung mga example sa gagamitin ko dito, kinuha ko to sa physicsclassroom.com. So if you have the time, uh, I suggest na i-visit nyo itong website na to kasi napakaganda nito dahil uh, marami siya mga examples and then pinapakita niya rin doon yung mga solutions dun sa mga problems. And also itong um, website na to, uh, very user-friendly siya kasi madali lang intindihin yung English na ginamit niya. Okay, para mas maintindihan nyo yung topic sa physics kasi alam ko sobrang hirap talaga intindihin ng physics. So let's try this example. An airplane accelerates down a runway at 3.20 meters per second squared for 32.8 seconds until it finally lifts off the ground. So determine the distance traveled before takeoff. Okay. So first, kailangan muna natin identify ano yung mga given natin. So isa-isahin natin siya dun sa ating problem. So sabi dyan, an airplane accelerates. Okay, so nagbigay na rito na acceleration value na equal sa 3.20 meters per second squared. Sulat natin dito. Acceleration is 3.20 meters per second squared. So tandaan nyo ng unit parate is pwede rin magbigay sa atin ng clue kung ano yung uh, quantity na nakikita natin. So in this case, yung acceleration kasi it's always, um, most of the time it is um, given in the unit of meter per second squared. And then sabi dyan, for 32.8 seconds, so second is a unit of time. So therefore, isa pa sa given natin dito is the time, which is 32.8 seconds. So until it finally lifts off the ground. Okay, so determine the distance traveled before takeoff. Okay, so ang pinapahanap sa atin dito is yung distance na travel yung plane bago siya ng takeoff. Now, although hindi sinabi sa problem, pero obviously, dito sa problem no, nag-start yung airplane from rest kasi hindi lahat ng given is binabanggit siya sa problem. So, kailangan mo siyang, um, kumbaga, parang interpret from the problem. So, wala naman kasi dito binanggit na yung airplane natin is tumatakbo na siya. So, we can safely assume na it started from rest. So, therefore, kung nag-start siya from rest, pwede natin i-assume dito na yung initial velocity mo is equal to zero. Okay, so ngayon na meron tayong um, apat na given dito. So, hahanapin natin kung anong equation yung kailangan natin. So, hanapin mo lang dito first kung alin dito sa apat na equation yung merong equation for distance. Okay, so tingnan natin. So dito meron tayong second equation and then meron kang uh, fourth equation. Okay, so pareha silang merong distance. So tingnan natin yung mga given. No? So dito sa una, so meron tayong given dito na VI. So check, meron tayong VI. And then T, meron din tayong given na T. And then yung acceleration is also given. And yung T squared obviously, so meron tayong T dito. So pwede natin itong gamitin. Uh, the problem with the second equation is that wala rito yung acceleration. Okay? So as much as possible, mas magandang gamitin na equation is kung saan mo makikita lahat ng given okay, at kung nasaan yung unknown. Okay? So in this case, itong second equation, lahat ng elements nandito. So nandito na yung given, nandito rin yung unknown. Okay? So gamitin natin to. So sa substitute lang natin sa ating equation, so meron tayong B is equal to VIT. 
plus 1 half AT squared. So, substitute natin yung mga values. So, yung BI natin is equal to 0. And then, yung time natin is 32.8 seconds plus 1 half. Acceleration natin is 3.20 meters per second squared times yung time natin na 32.8 seconds and then kailangan natin itong square. Kung papansin nyo, sinulat ko to, yung unit na to, na ganito, na para siyang fraction. Uh, bakit ko ginawa yun? Kasi para makita natin kung ano yung mga units na pwede natin makancel. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, no, itong second squared, actually makakancel to kapag in-square natin yung second dito sa kabila. Ayan. So, okay. So, um, I suggest na be careful kayo sa pag-input ito sa calculator. So, itong first term, makakancel na siya kasi this one is just equal to zero. So, therefore, yung distance natin dito kapag ginamitan nyo ito ng calculator, this one will just be equal to the value of 1,720 meters. So, 1,720 meters. So, yan po yung ating final answer. Okay? So, bigyan ko pa kanin sa example para mas makita niya kung paano yung pagpili ng tamang equation. Okay, so second example natin, a bike accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed of 7.10 meters per second over a distance of 35.4 meters. Determine the acceleration of the bike. Okay, so again, sulat muna natin yung given natin. So based ito sa problem, sinabi dyan, the bike accelerates uniformly from rest. Okay, so nabanggit dyan yung word na from rest. So basta nakita niyo yung word na rest sa mga word problems sa physics, automatically yan that is equal to zero. Okay? So in this case, so from siya, ibig sabihin ng galing. So this one refers to your initial velocity. So this one is equal to zero. So up to a speed of 7.10 meters per second. So itong 7.10, ito na yung magiging final velocity natin. So that's 7.10 meters per second. And may nabanggit din dyan na distance. So the distance given is 35.4 meters. Okay, so, ang pinatahanap sa atin is determine the acceleration of the bike. So, hanapin natin ang acceleration. So, again, yung tamang pagpili ng equation dito, dapat makikita natin lahat ng mga values. Okay, so, tingnan natin yung mga equations natin na merong uh, VI, VF, VS, saka A. Okay, so, siguro simula natin sa VI. Okay, alin dito yung mga equations na may VI? So, meron tayo dito lahat. Okay, so lahat na apat meron. Okay. How about yung VF? So, check natin. No? So, yung equations dito na may VF, itong first, itong third, tsaka itong fourth. Okay? So, wala siya dun sa second. So, automatically, hindi na natin pwedeng gamitin itong second equation kasi wala ka dito VF. Okay, next. Tingnan natin kung alin sa mga equations ay nang merong distance. Okay, so kung i-check natin, dito sa tatlo, ang equation na meron ditong distance is itong third one. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, tsaka itong fourth one. Okay. So, ayan. So, pareha silang may distance. So, that means itong first equation, laglag na to. <laughs> Di natin to pwedeng gamitin. Okay. So, finally, hanapin natin alin dyan yung may equation. Sa equations na yan ang merong acceleration. Okay. So, kung i-compare natin dalawa, ang merong acceleration dito is ito, yung pangatlo. Yan. So, therefore, ito yung gagamitin natin na equation. So, kung papansin nyo, gumamit ako ng elimination method, okay, para makita ko kung ano yung equation na perfect gamitin para masolve yung problem. Okay. So, gagamitin natin yung third equation. So, that's VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2AD. So, since ang hinahanap natin is the acceleration, so that means kailangan natin um, mag-transpose. So, itatranspose natin itong VI squared dito sa left side para maging negative siya. So, magiging ganito siya. VF squared minus VI squared is equal to 2AD. Okay? Pero hinahanap natin is yung acceleration lang. So, that means kailangan natin i-divide both sides of the equation by 2D. Yan. So, aalisin natin yung mga kasama ni A. Yan. So, para A na lang yung natitira. So, therefore, yung ating final equation will be acceleration is equal to Vf squared minus Vi squared over 2D. Okay? So, ngayon, let's try and solve this problem. So, sa substitute lang natin yung mga values. 
So yung VF natin, so that's 7.10 meters per second. And then square natin siya. Minus 0. So obviously, square of 0 is just equal to 0. And then you have here 2 times yung distance natin na 35.4 meters. Yeah. So mapapansin nyo dito sa ating unit, kapag ito in square natin, yung meter per second, magiging meter squared per second squared. Pero dahil meron tayong meter dito sa denominator, makakancel natin yung isang meter. Yan. Kaya ang magiging final unit mo is meter per second squared. So, so magiging sagot dito kapag inipon natin ito sa calculator is 0 0.712 meters per second squared. Yan. So yun na po yung ating answer. Okay? So madali lang po na gamitin yung ating kinematic equations. Kasi lagi nating tatandaan na gagamitin lang natin to kapag ang condition is uniformly accelerated motion. Ibig sabihin yung acceleration natin is constant. Kasi kapag hindi constant yung acceleration, hindi natin to pwedeng gamitin sa problem. And then kailangan yung um, mabuti tingnan yung mga given natin. Okay? So dapat yung given mo at saka yung unknown value mo nandoon sa equation na gagamitin mo. So ganun po yung pagpili ng tamang kinematic equations to solve the problem. So on my next video, i-discuss ko naman yung paano natin gagamitin ng kinematic equations for free fall problems.